Thank you, Kira. Thank you, Bill. My pleasure. Uh, welcome, Thank welcome, first of all. And uh, 20th century uh, has been, without doubts, I think, uh, the century of video mm -hmm. and uh, the image, the mu moving image mm -hmm. in particular. Uh, as video artist, uh, would you like to describe or define somehow your contribution to this huge world? Uh, or to help us to understand your approach mm -hmm. to the chosen medium. Right. What happened to me okay, was the fact that I arrived uh, in university just at the time that a video was becoming of age. So uh, I feel in my life now, I have actually started in video and continued in video looking at each new machine, each new thing that's available uh, until this moment. So uh, it was a very um, uh, uh, wonderful thing to be at the beginning yeah. of a new technology. And this technology, of course, was also in science and in other areas and in, in, in various ways out in the world. But the thing that we were interested in uh, on our side as artists is the fact that we had a new medium and it wasn't film. We didn't really care about film. We had this video machine which at the time when I was starting out the actual box of the machine was this big, this big, and that's this just big. To record with. And that's just <laughs> to record it and you, you put it on your shoulder like this. It was very heavy. I, don't, I can give you the, the number in kilos you know, but it was very, very heavy. And then it had a separate camera that weighed um, 10 pounds. And you had to put that on your back and you had to walk around with this thing. It was unbelievable. And it was always breaking. And you had to take the tape and you had to thread it like a, a mo motion picture. You had to put it through things like this. You had to make sure it was coming, and then you pushed the button and you prayed <laughs> <laughs> that there would be some signal. <laughs> you know what I mean? So it was very, very primitive. But uh, the group, uh, you know, the people, the young people in that time, recognized that this was. We f we all felt it. We all felt it. We felt that this is the future. And the future is also quickly changing, we may say, sure. uh, because we are assisting, due to this technological changing, yeah. to a pervasive use of video yeah. in social media. Yeah. And oh, yes. uh, right, it is a quicker democratic way to express uh, themselves. No? Uh, which are the consequences involved in these changes, from your point of view? Right now we are in the, the peak of, of, of video as an art form from yeah. all over the world. I mean, it's, it's clear. And, and this is, uh, I, I never imagined as a young artist that it would be this, this day would come. I would never have imagined that. Because it was, it was a long time to get to that, to that place. But I think what's happening right now is, is a, a massive uh, uh, connection with this medium and how it's proliferated all over the world, and how it's intersected, it's affected music, it's affecting everything that moves, basically. So we're now in the age of the movie in, like, big time, more than milliers, but just, this is beyond anything. And so it's really changing uh, our entire uh, culture, you know? And I, I just don't understand, I don't really understand how it's, it's, there's something about this moment that I think um, we're missing. And that is, we're missing the human place. We're missing the heart. You know? We're doing all this great technology, we have all these amazing machines and stuff, but in reality, um, what we're really missing is this human, deep human connection. I mean, social media is, is of course, wonderful. Mm -hmm. But I'm talking about something that really touches the heart. I think, you know, to touch the heart is the most important, precious thing that human beings do. And what do we want to celebrate with the heart? Uh, life itself, human emotions, uh, in your opinion? 
yes, I think those things are, are uh, very, very important right now. I think people are, are distracted today. They're living in what I call the age of distraction. Mm -hmm. Because they're always looking at someone else. They're always looking for something else to hear. When they should be looking for this one first. You know? mm -hmm. This one tells you this one tells you the difference between right and wrong. You know? Uh, are you a good person or a bad person? So that's that's something that, that we have to be careful about to say this time. You know? Because there's so much media in it. It's coming at us from all angles, all sides, and we're learning how to deconstruct that. We're learning how to how to uh, understand that better. We need we need more lang more language to understand mm. what's happening. You know, we're in a transitional period. I think uh, that the, the barrage of images are overwhelming to people, and they can't understand it what is going on, they don't have time to learn about uh, the language that they don't have time to disseminate. It's become shorthand, very, very quick, uh, and, and, and very immediate, and, and a lot. I think Werner Herzog recently wrote that there are images left in the world to use, you know, and he's confused, you know, so, so a person like that who has trained himself to go and look in a different way has to continue to find the way, a different way to look at things yeah. and to, to help others see things in that particular way. And I think that that's what art does. If people have to, if we have a piece like here in the museum, it's part of the the route where you take to see this beautiful exhibition that's been organized, which is a fantastic exhibition of the Penguin Collection, and all of a sudden you put in a video piece. And we think it's it's a great thing to do it that way because you we are giving you the opportunity to take ten minutes of your time for yourself. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, you just look, 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 and it's all coming at you. But finally, you could stop if you want to, of course. And and we give you the gift of time, mm -hmm. and then you can look at something a little bit more carefully. And you're curious because you want to see what's going on, what's happening, because it's a moving image. It's kind of like a narrative. And so that's what I think is the most important thing that we do. We give people the time if they want to take it to actually use it for themselves. Yeah. And there are a lot of promising seeds in contemporary art, but uh, it's a difficult question to understand. What do you imagine could be the future of art? Uh, more immersive, more democratic, uh, uh, more participated? I mean, the artists respond to what's going on in society. Mm -hmm. We just saw uh, a museum for us. Mm -hmm. Very, very strong show. And you can see the influence of World War II mm -hmm. on artists. You can see the influence of what was happening mm -hmm. here in Italy. Because mm -hmm. there's a lot of Italian artists. It's so fantastic to see these works like that. But I think that's a response. And, and then artists kind of try and help people. First of all, how to interpret those events and to help people see right. what they are and how to mm -hmm. deal with the sadness mm -hmm. of the situation. Right. Yeah, During 9-11, yeah. you know, in uh, the US when, when it happened, mm -hmm. when New York was all in mourning, mm -hmm. I mean, what did they do? Concerts were sold out. They went to museums. Mm -hmm. They were looking for a way to, to experience their grief through art, mm -hmm. through some some direction. Somebody has to show them the way. When you go into a church, you see an icon or something like that. Yeah, exactly. And so that's that's what artists do. That's the best of what artists do. They help people to see things more clearly, or to experience them more deeply, or to understand what right. has taken place. Yeah, we had a piece at the Metropolitan Museum, right? And and, and it, was, it was set to almost expire, and then 9-0. And all of a sudden, all of the people that were coming into the room mm. to see the work, the work of art, okay, mm. all of a sudden now, it was 9-11. And this huge tragedy happened. And all of a sudden, there were people coming in. It, 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 it changed the whole situation. 
And what happens what, what these people are coming in their, in their uh, um, break time in the afternoon, mm -hmm. and they were walking into our piece, and, uh, and it was a slow motion piece. And they were walking in and sitting down and they were at church and they were crying. They were crying. Yeah. And you know, as a young artist, I would have said, oh, you know, I didn't know really you were that. And now we understand why, you know? So that's, that I think that connection is so vital, so vital to bring the human, you know, condition. We just had a guy in, in, in LAX, in Los Angeles, mm -hmm. uh, you know, shot came in with a gun and started shooting people. And what's going on in this, in this world? So this is what artists can do. We can help people to understand what happened, how did this happen, okay. what is the root of this yeah. problem? Not that everybody is always thinking no. up here. No, no, deep no. Better. you got to go deep, 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 deep. I mean, that's, um, that has to happen. All the people that were in World War II, uh, you know, World War, were, were unbelievable. Uh, you know, they were all traumatized, you know, for the rest of their lives. So this is a, a major part of, of uh, human experience. And we must go right at it with strength and power and to understand it. That's, that's key. You can't run away. Um, unfortunately, you can't unfortunately, the art market doesn't always support that work, too. Yeah. It looks at for fashion yeah. and it looks for fad. That's true. You know, yeah, we're and, very concerned um, about that, too. And uh, the mm. auction houses are yeah. disgusting. <laughs> 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 you know, it's yeah. just it's turning into some kind of investment situation where, yes, I mean, art was always kind of like that. Oh, it was always that. And it was always fashionable, and it was always, it's, but, but now it's it like seems they were. like everything is extreme, you know, when, when you can sell a piece for over a hundred billion dollars, it's completely crazy. <laughs> it is, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Kira. Yeah. Thank you very much, sure. Green. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, no, Thank it's you. nice to speak to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank